From legendary spiders you never want to meet, to eight-legged freaks you don't know are there, here are nine of the most dangerous and freakiest arachnids. Number nine, the camel spider. According to popular myths, since camel spiders live in the desert, they attack camels' bellies, inject them with a numbing venom, and eat chunks from their bodies. And if they can do that to a massive animal like a camel, what's to stop them from doing it to humans? Sorry to disappoint, but it really is just a myth. And although they don't viciously eat camels or humans, they are freakish in other ways. The only truth why they're called camel spiders is because they live in the desert, places like Africa, Afghanistan, Iraq, and even Las Vegas. The camel spider is also known as the sun spider or wind scorpion. You can find them in a range of colors from tan to dark brown. They have a tendency to really blend in nicely with their surroundings. This spider is bigger than most, with a body two to three inches in size, plus several inches of legs. There are famous photos of them at certain angles that make them appear to be much longer. The camel spider does have something in common with a scorpion, hence its other name. It has two massive fangs. They're often difficult to find. Not only do they blend in well with their surroundings, they like to hide. They prefer dark areas like a crawl space or a garage. They can even be found under piles of wood or even rocks. But if you leave a pile of clothing around too long, they may make that a home as well. That's one way to get you to do your laundry. Another disturbing fact, these spiders are known to line their nests with human hair. They may have found them in various areas of your house, or they could have clipped it off while you were asleep. While certain legends do exaggerate what they can and can't do, it's been proven that they can go 10 miles per hour on land, more than enough to catch up with an unexpecting someone walking casually and potentially bite them. However, you don't need to fear the bite doing lasting damage, as it's surprisingly non-venomous. Though with everything else about them, I don't think that makes them any less scary. They can be tricky to get rid of, due to the many hiding places they find. There's been cases of families having to leave their homes after all efforts to successfully exterminate the camel spiders failed. Number eight, black widow spider. If a dog or snakes bite you, obviously you're going to feel it and react. But when a black widow bites you, sometimes you feel nothing at all. Well, at first, then the venom kicks in. And the venom from this spider is 15 times more potent as a rattlesnake's. A person who gets bitten by a black widow spider might not know it right away because the bite can feel like a tiny little pinprick. After 30 to 40 minutes though, the area of the bite will swell and hurt a lot. And sometimes a person can get achy all over. While a bite from a black widow spider can be fatal, if you act fast enough, you can survive. Furthermore, they won't bite unless directly provoked. So as long as you're careful around them and not agitating them, you should be fine. Some of the things you'll experience while under the venom's power are cramping, irregular heartbeat, sweating, extreme muscular pain, tremors, and delirium. Yikes. Yeah, don't provoke them if you find one. They may be found in dark, dry shelters, such as barns, garages, basements, outdoor toilets, hollow stumps, rodent holes, trash, brush, and dense vegetation. They can live up to three years in a dark area of your house without you even knowing. The females are the most recognizable with their shiny black bodies and red hourglass shape on their abdomen. The hourglass marking can, on occasion, also be orange or yellow. Female black spiders are about one and a half inches long with legs. The males are about half the size of females. Males are also lighter in color with red or pink spots on their backs. The female will lay hundreds of eggs at a time. The eggs sit in a cocoon spun by the mother until they hatch. When they hatch, they are on their own with only a small percentage typically surviving. Still, yikes. Number seven, wolf spider. The name wolf spider encompasses a big family of spiders, most of which are fairly large, dark colored, and extremely athletic compared to other arachnids. Unlike most spiders that catch prey in webs, wolf spiders violently hunt down their victims using their strong bodies and sharp eyesight. They're very aggressive and unyielding in their attacks and patterns. They're also known for being incredibly fast. They're really solitary spiders who like to hunt at night and stalk their prey. They hunt for their food, just like a wolf, 
if you see a spider sitting in a web, there's a pretty good chance it isn't a wolf spider. And because they don't make webs, their diet mostly consists of ground-dwelling creatures, such as beetles, cockroaches, grasshoppers, and a variety of large insects. When hunting its prey, a wolf spider will often pounce on it, creepy. The distance it can pounce depends on the species of wolf spider doing the pouncing. We'll just say it's still pretty impressive. Don't worry though, they aren't prone to pouncing on humans. Wolf spiders live almost everywhere in the world, which means you might be closer to one than you really wanna be. They are especially common in grasslands and meadows, but also live in mountains, deserts, rainforests, and wetlands, anywhere they can find insects to eat. They can also live in your house. Watch out! They don't typically attack humans unless they feel threatened, but should you get bitten, you will be in for a wild ride of pain. Unlike the pinprick of a black widow bite, you may not feel, the bite of a wolf spider has been said to feel like a bee sting. Plus, they leave a big bite mark behind for you to remember them by. Their venom isn't the most damaging, but it'll make the wound seem worse than it is, including causing it to itch terribly. They're usually brown, gray, black, or tan, and range from a quarter inch to over an inch in size. Their coloring is effective camouflage, helping them catch their prey and keep them safe from predators. They have two big eyes. Okay, well, to be more precise, they have eight eyes altogether, but two of them are really big and noticeable. Not only are they big, they work really well in the daytime and at night. At night, these large eyes will sometimes give them away because they do a great job of reflecting the light from a flashlight. The problem with these eyes is that they don't move back and forth on their own, like ours do. Wolf spiders must move their bodies to see what they want to look at. It's a little inconvenient, but they get by. Number six, yellow sack spider. Yellow sack spiders get their name from the sacks they build to conceal themselves while they wait for prime hunting hours when the sun goes down. The spiders are about a quarter of an inch in size and are pale yellowish green. Some have darker stripes on their abdomens that look brown or orange. The yellow sack spider is one that creates a rather unique home for itself. While other spiders spend hours constructing intricate webs, yellow sack spiders can create sacks in just 15 minutes. That's pretty fast. The sacks are about an inch in length and look like small white cocoons. They build their sacks in the places bugs typically like to hang out, weeds, tall grass, or under leaves. If you've ever noticed a small white cocoon in the corner of a room or the spot where the ceiling and wall join together, you've probably unwillingly hosted a yellow sack spider in your home. Typically, they like to live in the United States and Mexico. What makes this spider stick out though in regards to its fierceness is its venom. The poison within this spider can be necrotic, meaning they can cause cells to die, as well as make them forget their function. Due to this, their bites, which can be frequent, are known to cause lesions on the victim. Ouch! Humans sometimes go after their eggs in silk tubes that they often don't know are there while cleaning a place. The spiders will defend their young and lash out. Most commonly, their venom will cause swelling in the affected area as well as turning the skin red. The yellow sack spider is known for having more bites on humans in the United States than any other spiders. Number five, the Chilean recluse spider. The Chilean recluse spider can be found in South America within many countries like Chile, Peru, Brazil, and more, and it's widely considered to be the most dangerous spider of the entire recluse family. The Chilean recluse spider hunts at night and favors dark environments. For example, most people get bitten while reaching for clothes in their closet and not knowing spiders are hidden there or when cleaning the garage. The spiders are not known to be aggressive, but as with nearly any animal, once it feels attacked, it will bite. And when it bites, you'll feel it. Immediately after getting bitten, your skin will swell like a blister. The spot can grow dark with hours and the pain can increase. The key part of the venom is a demi-necrotic agent that is known to be in certain types of violent bacteria. This can cause a wide variety of wounds to a victim. Some only result in small wounds, while other bites have caused lesions and occasionally renal failure in the person bit. The wounds from the spider may take months or even years to heal, and it leaves deep, not-so-pretty scars. 4% of people bitten by this spider die. There is no definitive anti-venom for the bite. Number four, brown recluse spider. The brown recluse spider has many titles, 
including being known as violin spiders as well as fiddlers because of the mark on their bodies. Unlike some spiders that use their webs to ensnare their prey, brown recluse spiders hunt at night. They chase down their victims. Once caught, they use their fangs to inject deadly venom into their prey to subdue them. They also like to feed on prey that's already dead, so they're attracted to recently killed insects too. Like most spiders, the brown recluse can survive months without food or water. Brown recluse spiders are rather shy and non-aggressive, but they do have a powerful poison. Occasional bites happen because people and brown recluses often and unknowingly share the same living space. These spiders like dark corners and places inside the house and also live under furniture, boxes, and inside books. They tend to thrive in the same environments humans do. The brown recluse spider is extremely venomous, one that not only causes a big wound at times, but infection, decaying tissue, and more. If a young child gets bit by this spider, it can definitely be fatal. The spiders are usually less than an inch in size, and that means you won't likely feel them biting you. A family in Kansas had 2,000 of these spiders in their home, but they were never bitten because they had never come into direct contact with them, which was extremely lucky for them. Number three, six-eyed sand spider. This spider may be the reason you never see Southern Africa. The six-eyed sand spider has the deadliest venom of all arachnids in the world. It's not only able to camouflage itself by burying itself under the sand, but specially formed setae on the exoskeleton make sand particles stick to its body, making it virtually invisible in sandy areas. It will hide in the sand and wait for prey to come along and then strike in ambush. It's also called by the common name six-eyed sand spider because of its ability to camouflage in sandy areas along with having three pairs of eyes. It is light or reddish brown in color with an impressive body that grows two inches with legs that span out about four inches. It can also be referred to as the six-eyed crab spider because the way the legs are held in a crab-like fashion. Don't be too worried though, this spider is pretty shy and usually will not bite when it comes into contact with humans, usually. However, it has been shown to bite other creatures quite often, like rabbits. When they do, the venom kills the rabbit within 12 hours. Technically speaking, there has been no confirmed bites on humans by the six-eyed sand spider. There are two cases that many feel were the results of said spider, and the effects were devastating. One victim lost an arm due to the necrosis caused by the venom, and the other suffered from blood hemorrhaging and died shortly after. Number two, Brazilian wandering spider. In Central or South America, there's a spider you really don't ever want to run into. It's called the Brazilian wandering spider. These are big spiders with bodies over two inches long and legs spanning out over six inches. They can vary in color, though all are hairy, mostly brown, and may have a black spot on their bellies. Brazilian wandering spiders, also called armed spiders or banana spiders, belong to the genus Funtoria, which means murderous in Greek. That's saying a lot right there, and it's no wonder why. It's one of the most venomous spiders on the planet. They're very aggressive and do not like humans. In fact, they're one of the few spider species that can cause not only great pain to humans, but their bites can be lethal in certain concentrations, as well as being extremely painful, debilitating to the ones who get bit, although anti-venom makes death unlikely. They're very atypical creatures in that they hide out during the day and wander around the forest they reside in at night, which makes it so that you'll likely not see them coming they can sneak up on you and bite you before you know how to react. The venom causes extreme pain, salivation, irregular heartbeat, paralysis, and more. If left untreated, it can definitely lead to death. The reason for this is how strong the venom is, which is said to rival that of extremely lethal snakes. The effects are often immediate and grow in intensity over time, including affecting your blood pressure within 30 minutes if the amount of venom is high enough. The Brazilian wandering spider was even considered in the Guinness Book of World Records to be the most venomous spider in the world, multiple years running. Number one, Sydney funnel web spider. Although funnel web spiders are widely distributed throughout Southeastern Australia, the only species so far proven to be extremely dangerous to humans are largely limited to the Eastern part of New South Wales and Queensland. The bite may be small, 
and may progress to a blood blister and look like a bullseye. The area affected by the bite may become deeper. Though there have been 13 recorded deaths from funnel web spider bites, some cases do not always develop severe symptoms. However, the same precautions of first aid should be administered. If left untreated, a bite from a Sydney funnel web spider can kill you within an hour. You can recognize them from their big bulky bodies. They're usually about an inch in length and gray or brown with spots on their backs and banded legs. Funnel web spiders build funnel shaped webs, hence the name, which they use as burrows or to trap prey. This particularly deadly spider likes grassy areas, but they also really like to be near water. And they'll do some really interesting things to get to the water, including climbing up trees and then quite literally falling into things like swimming pools, in which they can survive for hours by trapping themselves in air bubbles. People who own pools will try and get rid of them by scooping them out. And of course, the spiders don't really like that, so they may bite you, in which someone will need to seek immediate medical attention. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these dangerous, freaky spiders? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.